Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Crown. I'm your host, Gamer Darius. Last we left off, we just finished the first dungeon, and now I got myself a new pair of axes, which is awesome. I'm gonna quickly repair my stuff at Morgan's shop. Hello. May I help you? Uh, you can what repair you my like? belts, cause that's all I have to repair. Which I can also sell my old hammer, I think, but that'd be useless. So, you know, don't want to do that. Um, what do you have you to buy? Like? Item usage and replenishment. Each item can be used a certain number of times during an adventure. When you return to town, your encrypted items will be restocked as long as they have restocks remaining. Huzzah. So, say I wanted to buy a shitload of explosives. I might buy a shitload of explosives. Uh, they will automatically restock at the end of my adventure up to 17 times. So, essentially, that's going to be, what, three and... Three dungeons and two-fifths kind of a thing. Which I don't mind. And they have different price prices for the different amounts of healing and strength drops and whatnot. Which one yep. do you want? Okay, she's only got potions, so... We're good. Thanks, Morgan. To the guild! Maybe a little less dramatically. You return to the guild to report your quest. However, Samuel gives you an additional task. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. Canaan Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. I mean, as long as I'm going to be part of the guild afterwards, that'd be great. You can now go to the Canaan Temple. You were ordered to attempt to resurrect guild members at Canaan Temple. I kind of... Also, really quickly here. I really do like how the locations on the town map do correspond with where they are on the actual world. So if you, you know... You're on the far right of the place. You can go to the Dragon's Haven Inn. You're right in front of the Canaan's Temple. That sort of thing. I dig that. Little touches here and there. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. Wandering one, how can I help you? Not the voice I was expecting out of you. So, we can resurrect the dead. In this case, we have a dude named Linus, level 3. Worms being... Can I, can I take the stuff off of these guys? Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you at the inn. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. Please be aware that if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. So I want to say that this is pretty much the method how you would have either A, um, local co-op, you know, couch co-op, which I love the ever-loving crap out of. Not enough games have enough have couch co-op, damn it. Especially nowadays. Or you have them as NPCs. Which ain't bad. A little bit of NPC help might sometimes right. be necessary. So we'll, we'll give Linus a shot. Give him a go, as it were. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the guild master. To the master of the guild, the guild master. Oh, 
That's what happens when you release square, by the way. You just go, woo! You completed the quest and received your reward of 1,000 gold. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a smile cross Samuel's face. You are now registered with the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurer's Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. Name drop, roll credit. The king and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed. But the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. Do what you're doing for all of one quest. It's a request from this country's prime minister. The quest's details will be provided at the castle. You wonder about the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. Can now learn a skill. Now select quests. Hmm. You're back. Okay, that's the kind of voice I was expecting out of you. So, when you learn a skill, the player's skills will be strengthened, no doubt. You can earn skill points by leveling up or through completing quests. So, this is pretty cool, I do like this. You can pretty much level up A, common skills, which are stuff that all classes can do. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Kind of. Picking up coins adds to your score. Picking up coins recovers HP. Vitality boost. Nutritionist. That's actually pretty cool. Gains a chance to, uh, that using a temporary item won't decrease the number of uses. Eh. Reduces cooldown time between using items. It's mostly, you know, that kind of stuff. But some of these do have a limitation. So you'll see, like, deep pockets I require to be... Or the max level I can take in it is level 3. But, at the side, there is a cost to each one of these points. And a... A uh, minimum level that one must be in order to take some of these. So I have to be level 15 to take deep pockets in the first place. Which kinda sucks. Uh, could use more HP. I'm always leery about HP, but let's look at the dwarf skills first. So, add shockwave to throwing attacks. Increase the damage dealt by all bare fist attacks. Just when you throw the hammers, just punch them. I love it. Eagle Dive, a mid-air glide attack, double jump in uh, X, so essentially X three times. Grand Smash, a powerful attack which requires the temporary loss of your weapon. Activate with Power Smash. Oh, but I must be level 9 to use that. Dang it. Powerful Rush Attack, attack by... Oh, God. I'm going to take that for sure. Bombs. Hmm. <laughs> I'm... Hmm, that's tempting. Fire barrel. Use a fire barrel item to produce an exploding barrel that can be picked up and hurled. Magma infusion. Use a mag lava bracer item to add fire properties to any attack. Powder mastery. Increases damage of fire and enhanced physical attacks. Trinket maniac. Heal HP and equipment durability when picking up score items. That I like. Like, it's not going to be helpful in the middle of a boss fight, but it's definitely going to be a lot more useful. Because it will save me money on uh, weapon durability. Rock skin. Requires level 5. Increased at... So is this increased, decreased defense? Smaller attacks won't cause you to flinch. I like that. And then we're back to the... Ooh. I'm kind of torn. Because I like the sound of Bomb Satchel. You know what? Let's take Bomb Satchel. Yes. You put skill items in your bag and use them. And now you'll see that in order to take skill level 2 with this, which skill level 1 of 5, I have to be level 8. Which is... I'm not going to say a while's off. Uh, all depends on how fast I can level up, which is probably not going to be all that fast. Depending on how 
decent I am at picking up his skill items. Uh, I'm gonna go with Vitality Boost. Yeah. Uh, probably next time I'll take Money as Power. Uh, but then again, I'm not sure. If I take Money as Power, it's essentially leveling up faster, but then that skill point's just for leveling up faster, which I'm gonna There's do anyways. Help the honey buzzards. We've seen a dramatic increase in... Well, thank you. We've seen a dramatic increase in the wasp population in recent days. Some of our top scholars believe that the wasp explosion is due to the decline of honey buzzards. The scholars postulate that orcs have taken up residence in the ancient temple ruins and are hunting the buzzards for food. Without the buzzards consuming the wasps, the, mo the wasp population is growing unchecked. If their supply chain can be broken, the orcs residing in the ruins will be forced to leave, thus allowing the buzzard population to rebound. Destroy a recent orc shipment in the harbor should be enough to encourage the orcs' relocation. Get some experience points, get skill points simply for doing this, and get some money for it. I've accepted the quest. Now, I... Um... I want to say I do remember where this goes. I can't go you to the castle. A new Heck to that. Request from the guild. You must go to the castle for further details. Nope. Doing quests. <laughs> Ignore plot. Do quests. So I do. Again, I do think I remember where it is. It gave me the hint that Rani can actually uh, lead me to where I need to go by unlocking a door. Which leads me to believe that it will be that little dock area that I had found the orcs in before. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian Temple. Some quiescent, some far less so. An ancient dragon spoke of the myths who said to destroy the Elysian civilization in one night. Yeah, dude's doing uh, far more better than me, but then again, he is an NPC, so. It's my turn. Uh, as far as I recollect, treasure that you find is 100% randomly generated. So it's not like, oh, I found yet another of the same axe. It's, oh, hey, I found this other axe. Dun dun dun. Enemies. It's kind of cruel because I really do want to just like destroy all enemies ever. Ow. That snake dead? Snake better be dead. I got it. Done. I'm also really hoping that these treasure that these uh places aren't oh, trapped. That. Oh. Unlock that door. Yes. Oh, yeah. And in we go. The orc army is apparently getting here. The restored balance of the ecosystem is from ships that have been reported missing. Huzzah! Temporary weapons for allies. You can disarm your allies from their temporary weapons by clicking on them. Nah! I think he's good with his dagger. I got it. Hmm. Food. You want to pick up the arbalist now? Let's see. Now, oh, yeah. because I'm remembering this now, these additional quests you can or you have to finish finish the quest area again. So you could just, in theory, run towards the end of the goalpost, as it were. Hey, man! I know you're there, giant spiders. They're here. There we go. There we go. Oh. I want this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's right. Trapped chests. Or, not chests. You know what I mean. Ready? Uh. 
My victory. Dang it. I need to figure out exactly what it is that Linus is doing there sometimes. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pick these guys up again, but there's going to be an additional thing I can use at the temple after doing so. No, we're good. Lizard folk. Jesus there, man. Not gonna lie, really am employing and employing, enjoying playing the dwarf. Nom nom. Driving attack. Oh, I forgot to equip my satchel of bombs. Don't stand there. As the second harpy. There seem to be more nests similar to this one Ooh. spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other. Oh, harpies. two bee chests. Awesome. Okay. What do we got this time, Rani? Besides a level up. Wait, did I level up twice from that? Oh well. Uh oh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at this spoil. Level 5B. I mean, I'm going to sell those two. That's going to be... Mm. You can usually tell it's going to be good if it's B rank. Or B plus. Alright, I'll, I'll identify that. Yes. And this. Plus that assassin mantle. Why is it grayed out like that? Is there a minimum? Oh, there's probably a minimum level of requirement that I can... Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, I have to wait in order to use this one. Oh, I just noticed that there's petrification. Great. Anyways. Uh... I could wait for it. Think I'm good? Make it out with more money than, uh, take all the spoils. I'll probably sell my old hammer, huh? Yeah, I think it could. Anyways, I gotta go back to the guild now. Be all like, hey, guild master, I did the thing. So how much better is this? 3 to 11 versus 2 to 7. And, oh, this stuff is barely even touched. Cool. Uh, bomb satchels, bomb satchels, bomb satchels, bomb satchels. Produces a bomb. Uh, four uses per time I go into a dungeon. Glorious. Right. Really quickly, I want to go to the temple. Wondering one, how can I help you? So, when you got bones of individuals you can resurrect them which costs money but you could also bury them and get some money for their uh yeah may they rest in peace and receive a defense tonic as a token of appreciation it's not always money i kind of thought it was always money i was wrong uh, real quick, just want to see if I can't sell my old hammer axe. Yeah. Now, do you have anything I could buy of use? Alright. 
always keep your equipment up to snuff. Just saying. So, oh, <laughs> all right. First, we'll go to the guild. Then we'll go to the castle. Be all like, hey, sup, royal guys. Go back. Um, wait, do you have any more? Yeah. Completed a quest and received a reward. Art you obtain for the quests can be guild that yeah, viewed at any time by the gallery option in the guild. So that's a honey buzzard, apparently. An advanced detachment of orc troops had been invading the ruins and were absentmindedly feeding on honey buzzard eggs and chips. This resulted in a marked decline in the Hydelands honey buzzard population. These large av a avians typically build their nests in caves and ruins. They eat insects, reptiles, other birds, eggs, small animals, etc. Their favorite foods appear to be wasps, and they will actively attack wasp nests in order to get any item. Uh, get at them. Bleh. This led to their nicknames of wasp eaters or bug buzzards. With the orcs driven off, the wasp population will likely be reined in once more. How's that? Little bit of leveling. Yeah. I believe we can do repeats of the quests. No, we can't. Never mind. Ignore that. Once we're done with the quest, we're done with the quest. Three skill points to play with. Three skill points to play with, and I'm level four. Na, 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 na. I kind of want to go with uh, picking up coins recovers HP. I can't take vitality boost again until... Seventh. Increase the healing. I could slide attack, but eh. Eagle dive. I kind of want to go with eagle dive. Smaller attacks won't cause it to flinch. Ah, can't take that yet. Oh, wait. Heal HP and equipment derb. Yes. Definitely yes. Increase the damage of fire. I can't take the magma infusion until 10th level. I can just save up my skill points and figure out what the hell I'm doing later on, I think. Uh, I'm going to take Eagle, Eagle Dive and be good. I got one more skill point. Alright, now yeah. we'll go to the castle. I'm sure they have important Flanked by stuff. guards, you are led through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. The Prime Minister speaks a lot, in contrast to the silent princess. He asks you to swear to keep this matter secret. The royal scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as Tomet, a known bandit. Your job is to track down Tommy and retrieve the scepter. Also, for the sake of the kingdom, this must be kept secret. Rani whispers that he knows of this Tommy. He is well known and is based out of the old capital. You bow and leave the throne room. Bandit hunting. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. I do. Right now? I mean, I could right now, but... Um, actually, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. God, this is pretty. I'm sorry, I'm never going to get over how pretty this place is. Uh, let's say hey, hello, hi to Morgan one more time. What's up? Which one do you want? I just want to see what the hell you also have to sell. I might want to... Take potions of strength. Yeah. What would you like? I'm done here. We're gonna equip these and then call an episode. When we return, we are going to check out this uh, bad place with a good foot that needs to be checked out. And that's essentially good for three dungeons. We'll figure this out once I come back. 
So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.